Hey guys, I'm here with Chris Gatlin. Chris Gatlin is a member of our Pro Wholesaler program. He joined recently, uh, just got one of his first wholesale deals and want Chris to hop on here and talk about his experience and talk about this, this latest deal, the first of many to come, man. So how about you tell us about it? Love to chat about it. Yeah, absolutely. Thanks, Alex. So um, basically got this deal through a referral. The guy was my, uh, my, she, the daughter of the, my dad's hygienist and he was older, 83, uh, didn't want to list it on the MLS. It was MLS ready. And that's initially what I was going to try to do just take possession of the property and then just put it back on the MLS. But, um, we needed, you know, probably 20 K through for hard money just to fund the transaction. And so, um, I just decided to wholesale it. Um, my, my seller, uh, you know, wanted his 150. And so I got it under con. That was the bottom he would take for it. And so I got it under contract for 160, uh, reached out to several of my financing partners and um, eventually settled on the uh, 155 for it. There we go. Okay. Wholesale fee. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And so, uh, but the, the biggest thing was what I learned, um, just kind of going through the entire process. You know, we were kind of, we were taught, you know, sections of it, but to see everything come together and to realize what you, what you actually need uh, to get better, um, that was the biggest part. And it really helped me transition into this, the next deal that came up. I mean, um, I'm closing on that one on the 23rd. And so, um, you know, same financing partner, but it's an MLS deal. So my nice. first MLS deal. Yeah. There we go. What are the numbers looking like on that one for you? Yeah. So initially I, or I offered 130 for it. It was on the MLS for 180. Uh, they didn't really get any um, traction on it. So I followed up with the, the listing agent after my buyer said they were buying houses at 80% minus the repairs. So that allowed me to increase my offer to 140. I took out the commission I would make um, to try to, uh, you know, get, get it at that price and mm -hmm. put a little bit more in the seller's pocket, basically. And then, um, you know, had a ton of showing is, and this has only been three days, I opened title maybe two days ago or yesterday. And so had probably 11 investors go out there, almost didn't get, what I wanted, I had got it under contract for 140, um, mm -hmm. tried to sell it for 149. Um, but I ended up getting an offer last night, probably about 10 o'clock, 11 o'clock for 145. So just going to pull the trigger on that and keep it moving. There we go. A nice little pop. Exactly. So there they're all, they're coming in little pops, but the experience that is behind that is even more valuable. So yeah, if you're making 5K on these deals and these are your first couple wholesale deals, it's, it's only up from here. You're going to get better at the negotiating aspect, incentivizing agents, just like you're doing. Yeah. And you know, for everyone listening too, Chris is a licensed real estate agent and he's wholesaling deals and he's getting creative with his commissions in other ways, something we talk about, something I've been able to do um, when I've been licensed as well. It's really getting creative with those commissions to get the deals and, and have them, you know, whether the off market or on market deals, but it really creates a conversation for the seller to consider your offer. And that's what it's about. So we can get to that table and make some sort of deal. And Chris, you're making that happen, man. So very excited for you. Yeah, um, appreciate it. You know, way to make it happen. We talked, you know, off the line, we talked about grit. We talked about persistence. And what do you think is the thing that most people need to be successful at wholesaling? The, yeah, the persistence. I mean, you have to do what it takes. You, you you're going to get a lot more no's uh, I've already, but you know, like we keep saying every no, you're closer to that. Yes. That's real uh, realistic. And so just continuing to do it, even if you're not getting offers accepted um, because you're not, they're not all going to get accepted, but you follow up with the agents, um, you know, a few weeks after you've made your offer, you know, things change, you know, time, the more time goes on, the more willing there are to probably accept an offer if they haven't gotten one. And so just kind of continuing to do it every day, uh, even if it's something small, just headed towards whatever goal that you have set and just take that next step. 
Awesome. Um, Love it, man. And the, I think a big shift, you know, I had when I started the MLS almost 10 years ago now, um, I look at it almost like Craigslist in the sense that the price of a house, that's not the price that it's going to sell at, meaning the listing price on the MLS. It, you know, for, for people who are hopping on here who are afraid of the MLS, Chris, you just got this deal that was listed at $180,000 and you have it under contract at $140,000, $40,000 below the list price. And that's pretty cool to see. I mean, that's, that's what we see typically on all the MLS deals we do. We're getting them below the list price the majority of the time because agents a lot of times don't know where the heck to list their house or the seller's heads are in the clouds. And it's just pretty cool to see that you're putting in the work and you're making it happen in these houses below the list price because so many people think those prices are sticky and it's not the case. Yeah, I agree. And yeah, a lot of agents aren't aware of the investment side of the coin. Like they just do not, they don't even know it, it exists. And so whenever you come to them with a deal like this, of course they're going to be skeptical because skeptical they just, they don't have any experience with it. But we understand that this side of the coin works just as well, if not better than the, the regular side of it. And so you can make more money as a wholesaler, as an investor, you can, you know, you have more wiggle room in regards to negotiating. And once you kind of develop that relationship, that reputation of, you know, what you're doing, then it's really just, it's, it's all good from there. So yeah, man, I'm still working on getting there. Yeah, man. Well, you're, you're willing and dealing like a professional and already. I mean, you closed that deal last week and when's this deal? So you closed the deal last week for 5k, right? Uh, June, June 10th. Yeah. And then the yeah. next one is the 23rd month. So my MLS deal. Nice. So looking like potentially this could be a nice 10k month. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> first, <laughs> first one in a while. So yeah. Good, man. Good. Well, I'm, I'm super excited for you. You know, we talked about scaling and growing and we're going to work on that, yeah. you know, on the weekly calls we have as well. Yeah. Get some acquisitions associates, scale and grow. Um, but thanks for hopping on this call, Chris. I mean, love, love, love doing this is what we've been doing for a decade, man. So yeah, I'm really excited. proud of you and great job. And also congratulations it. on, on your wife's water breaking. It's exciting, <laughs> yeah. man. <laughs> I know, right? It's like, man, crazy day. <laughs> awesome, man. Well, yeah, you got you know a lot of good things to come and a, a child as well, man. So thanks yeah, again. Thank and you. yeah, you're an awesome pro wholesaler, man. So I'll keep seeing you awesome. in the group. Yes, sir. All right. Take care, man. Bye.